identical. It's a tie. Again, a very close decision. What makes the Red Bull Air Race World Championship so close and so thrilling is down to the top level pilots and the new standardized engine. The standardized engine is a really good development and implementation to the Red Bull Air Race. It's made the sport safer, it's made the sport fairer, and it's made it more competitive. And in the end, that's what people watching a motorsport want. It's the uh, Lycoming Thunderbolt AEIO 540, six cylinder, horizontally opposed air-cooled engine. It's a 300 horsepower, 2,750 RPM. But no brakes. It's unlike in a car where they have brakes and, and throttle in the airplane. It is 100% throttle, 100% RPM the entire time. You are, you are gripping the throttle and you're holding it to make sure that it doesn't back off one millimeter. Yeah, I mean, the way you manage the energy on the track is with G. Then you've got to try and control the amount of control deflections you put in, so that creates drag. And also the way you fly the airplane, the way you turn, how much G you use in different parts of the track. He's got to really find a good, clean, final vertical turn maneuver. Nice tight turn on over nine Gs. The, the best way to get through it is, is say, to be lazy, not put too much G on the airplane. And then there's times, uh, like a vertical turn, for example, where every meter you go in one direction is an extra meter you have to come back the other way. So you want to get that airplane turning around as fast as possible. Most of the time, we found that the flatter turn is going to be faster. But like on this first run, when you go through, it might be better off to just go up. And then as you come back down, you're going to regain some of that speed. You're going down, it, it takes like longer time, but you accelerate more. And the beauty of standard engines is we've all got the same horsepower, and then it boils, it boils basically down to the piloting skill and the aerodynamics of the airplane. So it's it's a very, I think it's a very, very good mix.